is there something we can do to stop this from happening again? Is there so- a certain software or application we can actually acquire yeah. to actually stop this from happening and actually improve what's actually going on in your actual infrastructure? So the interesting point you mentioned last time we spoke was that in your previous MSP before acquired by Microbyte, there were a few key things that were different, that were so obviously different. And as well as them being hard to adjust to, you're now seeing some sort of value um, in those processes. Can you just re-explain what what you meant? So at my previous um, MSP, it was a case of a lot of firefighting. Mm. A lot of the time they had an issue, we just fixed the issue and move on to the next case. And just if it comes back in again. Let's fix it again, move on to the next one, and <laughs> so on and so on. Right. Whereas here, we there's a motor that's going around to stamp out support, yeah. which is basically a case of not only try to resolve the case, but make sure it doesn't come back. Yes. And that's what we're trying to do here. And it's a case of what I've learned from the previous place is when you constantly firefight, firefight, it gets really repetitive and it gets really annoying. Maybe the customer might get annoyed as well and say, yeah. why are we constantly having the same issue? And that's kind of beneficial from the customer's side in terms of we're actually trying to not only resolve the issue, but trying to Im- improve. Was it stressful at all um, adapting to a newer way of doing things? That was, it, it sounds like a little bit more detailed, a bit deeper in terms of problem solving. Like, Did that come with any stress trying to change to doing things in that way? Um, yeah, at the beginning, the first two, three months, it was really challenging learning how to do things a different way in mm. terms of simple stuff, in terms of like just time management and cu- managing customer expectations, for example. Uh, it's because there's a lot more steps involved now just to resolve a customer issue. Yes. Rather than before, it was just a concept, oh, a ticket came, a ticket came yeah. in get it done <laughs> now, enjoy what you're doing, get it done. Whereas now it's a case of a lot more planning just to make sure that it doesn't come back and we yeah. actually do it the right way and getting other team members who have a lot more expertise and other fields to weigh in and help you um, figure out this issue a bit um, better and the right way of doing things. Did, did you find that some previous clients from you know your MSP before coming into into the microbyte fold, did they struggle at all with the new way of doing things? Because y- the, the way you're sort of describing it makes it sound like it might not be as fast to get things delivered in, in a way they were used to. Was it hard to help them understand why things are different? There was definitely an, uh, an adjustment period in mm-hmm. terms of um, res- not really response time, but a case of res- resolution time, I should say. Yeah. In terms of that, is a case of they were so used to c- c- case cake comes in, for example, within half an hour, 45 minutes, already on their computer, for example, trying to fix yeah. wh- whatever issues they're having. And once that's done, drop done, case, c- case closed, move on to the next one. Whereas now it's a case of a lot more planning. Why did it happen? How can we resolve it? How long has this been happening? It does everyone, does this affect everyone? Yeah. Is there something we can do to stop this from happening again? Is there so- a certain software or application we can actually acquire yeah. to actually stop this from happening and actually improve what's actually going on in your actual infrastructure? Do, do have all the clients got on board with that way of thinking or are there still some who are stuck in that reactive mindset that look, the longer this problem goes on, the the more of an issue it is. I don't care about the bigger picture. Like, are, are there many that that still fall into that bracket of not not really believing why we want to stamp out support? Um, I believe there's one or two that are still in that old mindset. Mm. But when you actually have a conversation with them, they understand, for example, what we're trying to do. We're yeah. trying to make their lives easier. We're, help us help you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a case of, it was of that and a lot of them are learning that it's still an adjustment period they're still adjusting to it because they're so used to the old ways but they do see the direction we're heading in and I feel like in a few months time years time they'll be on board with what we're trying to do here 